All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, the main event here. Um, so I was actually going to do for the next part of the series, my highest viewed video, but then I realized I had this footage, very um, rare footage, unreleased footage. This is footage of my draft league championship match, um, me versus Chris. I think his, um, I think their name was Hollywood Hans Crows at the time for their team name. We had played them once before. Um, I've never released this footage. I actually stopped releasing the draft league footage at like week seven. Um, it wasn't getting as much attention as like the regular ladder stuff, but I had the championship match um, and I wanted to react to it live for you guys. I haven't reviewed this match since it happened. I watched, I don't even know if I watched it back after. Um, really tough match. Uh, I wanted to go over it with you guys. Um, question of the day. Look, because I have my OBS over here and I got you guys over here. Um, did Gala bring you any competitive success, whether it was draft league or placing well at a tournament? Um, some laddering success. Anything you, that you that you felt good about competitively during Gala? I'm going to start this. See where, where, where are we at in this? Oh, no, I have to go back because that's way too far. Um, I think that was after a match. Come up. They have Stack Attacker back there. So so this is the beginning of match one. I was going to go over the team, that. but um, but I do think maybe I can do it at the end. But I definitely had like Tabo Fini, Garchomp, uh, Oranguru. Just, I can um, Scrafty, like Umbreon. So really a lot of these mods yeah. here. Like, uh, <clears throat> actually, let's go back a second. It just let's go back one second. Just, Pause it. So a lot of these mods um, were like, like Feeny and um, Cali. So it was like Series Eight rules, I guess. But it was no max. It was a no Dynamax league, one restricted only. Cali was my restricted of choice. I had this team in mind. Before the draft started, because I knew I could get some of these mods. So I wanted in, I wanted the Calyrex as my mod. I wanted a Rangaroo. Um, this won't be the last time you guys see those two either, because I'm probably going to do some of my um, Players' Cup stuff, which included those mods. Um, Tapu Fini. And because I know I wouldn't get Incineroar, I went with Scrafty. Because I know I can play anything with these with, with, a, with a Fake Out Intimidator, a Fini, a Trick Room Setter, um, and a Trick Room Sweeper. I can play, I can play, with, I can play with those mods all the time um one of the things that i've always had even at the start of the of, of galler uh well not the start but when the dlcs happened was uh glass trier feeny dust claps and incineroar i could always rock out with those four and and handle most situations so i knew i kind of wanted something similar to that um the orangaroo had like the uh what you call it stuff though the the uh instruct stuff what you guys have known who know me know i i'm pretty good with that stuff um, Garchomp was my fast mode mon. This was like my bulky like support mon. I had some other mods that did great during the draft league, but this is what I felt most comfortable bringing to the actual championship round. So, so their their mons are so. Um, with... I'm gonna get to the battles. They their restricted is friggin' um is what you call it is the Calyrex Shadow, um, Calyrex Shadow. And this, and then they have stack, right? So this brings me, this brings me a lot of trouble. I actually played Chris before earlier in the year, and I had the wrong items, and it was one of the toughest matches I've played in like my Pokemon career in life. Um, before they had played a Zacian team, which is obviously the correct, the direct counter to me here, and then this friggin' Calyrex direct counter to me here, and even if I do get Trick Room up, it doesn't guarantee like a win because they have the slowest mod. So I had to like figure this matchup out. Crazy! I did so much like mental prep. Um, and I still can't even remember now how this ended up playing out. I gave him so much trouble with... Um... So, Scrafty is good for me because go Intimidate is good here. Back. It's good here. Then, um, it's just a matter, I'll bring the I can take because, this thing out and eat its hits, Calyrex, switch in. Leafeon so strongly. <laughs> Leafeon, I wasn't um, too, too afraid about. Tabu Fini is good into now. all of their Pokemon. Leafeon is because the reason I was able to win the matchup against Chris last time it was all Tabu Fini. I all Tabu Fini. Like, yep. Moves and stuff, wrong, wrong moves, wrong items. Mine, and Fini just um, I didn't really prepare that game. carried us but to Tabu that win. Just hard, carried them hard carried us to that so win. Well, they couldn't really do damage into it. Um, and it could do a lot of damage to them with uh, fairy moves and water moves and calm mind. So they lead, they lead Feramosa so this is the perfect lead and Ndidi. Because Why was it perfect? Female, which one that one is, doesn't have Trick Room. Yeah, so they can't reverse my trick room. So they can't actually stop me from trick rooming here, I'm pretty sure. So do I call them doing something like a um like bringing in what you call it? Um what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? The stack? Or do they just go for like a close combat into my scrafty? So I can get snarls off here. Um into that in DD. Yeah. 
Snarl is fine. From here very safely. Close combat was for stacks. Snarl was for Calyrex Shadow. So that's why I had those moves. Coaching was for Garchomp in case that ever became a yeah, thing. And it was for uh, my Calyrex Ice to do more damage. This is probably U-turn. Yeah, they probably do U-turn here. With the, so they lunge. So I don't know I why that, that killed. And I, I still don't know why it killed. But I was not prepared for that. So that... This is the championship really round. So that was like completely unexpected. That's not something I thought was going to happen. And I don't know why it did. Um, To this day, I should probably figure that out. So they're going to have foul play for sure. Um, so I'm already behind the eight ball. Because Trick Room doesn't get up. And they have the fastest amount on the field. And I have nothing. Like, as you can see, I went hard Trick Room here. I did not think Lunge would do so much damage. That's I'd, a lot. Even right now, watching this live with you guys, I'm still surprised that it did that much damage. I'm actually going to look up Lunge and see if there's something I'm missing. Now, did I get that? Did I get that? Nope, it's just Beatty, yeah, 80, 80 base Beatty power. has no damage right now. So, realistically, um, even though I want to so, get in my other mind. So the coaching here is because the the Pheromos already can't really hurt me. Um, and I can calm mine pretty. So if I get this calm mind up, Pheromosa to just take a hit. Yeah, I, so they're gonna switch to Pheromosa. Yeah, so this calm mind, I can get up a special defense boost, and I can get a coaching defense boost and a special attack boost. So it'll put me in a really good position. Um, their Pheromosa obviously know it can't hurt us, so it's gonna switch out probably into stack. Because Stack can take the fairy type moves really well. So here comes Stack. Big golden tower. And the reason I get the coaching up is because now their Stack cannot hit me with anything. Their Indeedy also can't do anything to me. Yeah, Indeedy's minus one and Feeny's plus one, so it can't do anything. I get in my. Um... Oh, this is perfect. Because Scrafty's going to get switched out. So now I can switch Scrafty back in. Because of the eject button. Eject button's crafty was so good in so many matches during this draft league for me. It is not even funny. Um, because I would be able to cycle those intimidates in over and over and over again on stuff. And this is like, I'm actually in, somehow in a decent position now. Because I got the, um, I got the, the Calyrex in safely. And... I got so the Feeny boosted. Here. I'm just gonna get rid of. I'm just, I'm gonna switch back in. So get this is. And then I'm just gonna calm mind again. So that I'm was greedy. Room here. This is greedy. I do not care at all. Because if I just, if I, oh, this is so greedy. Why did I do this? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna calm mind. If I maybe I was playing it safe, but if I <clears throat> just go for the um, the what you called here. The You're glacial lance plus I plus muddy like, water. Totally okay by me. I probably yeah. just win the game. Follow me is fine. Follow me is just fine. I probably just win. I get a plus. I probably get a plus two. And then yeah, they bring in Calyrex. Um. But even if they bring in the Calyrex and they blow up my um. Iron Head would have just activated a policy. Um, yeah, even if I didn't kill, I get a policy boost. So now that I have the terrain, I can think <sighs> out. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, it's Misty terrain right now. I must have been overthinking it. Let's see if their stack has protect. Let's let's test it. Oh, I didn't have Muddy Water. It does not have protect. Oh, you know why? Because last time so I played, um, Chris, there. Muddy Water kept missing, and I was not with nothing. Dazzling Gleam yeah, was very reliable. So with between that and then the glacial lance into the Ndidi, um, yeah, because I would have smoked them. They'd have brought the Feromosa and the Calyrex. I would have gotten damn, and I would have knocked the Feromosa out with Tapu Fini. I could have swapped the Scrafty in then, at that time. So they can have a bug type move that's not going to do anything. Fighting's not going to do anything. Oh man. I'm still in a good spot, but I would have been in like I would have been in a golden position if I had just played that previous turn more aggressively. Let Scrafty take any more damage. That's interesting. Dazzling Gleam here is good because I'll get damage on both mines and I'll kill the Feromosa. 
Yeah, fair motion goes bye bye. Uh, what's it called? A close combat into my scrafty right now because it'll it'll die. Yeah, I need that and scrafty. Keep it just At this point, I need scrafty way. just in case I get caught up against the um. What's it called in the end? And they have poison jab, so it's like if I go down here, oh, we survive. That's a good move, but we take that like a champ. It's very good to know that we take. So jab. now we have a bit of a problem, right? Because this is gonna probably take out my Feeny at sixteen HP. No, it doesn't. Oh. I have to protect with Feeny this next turn and switch the Calyrex out. But then the scrappy is going to take fairy damage, isn't it? Uh, so I kind of put myself in a tough position by not being aggressive. Uh. Now, as a matter of do we survive um, this attack? And it's like... I'm going to trick room here. Why? Why would you trick room here? I don't know what I was thinking where, like, I was being so passive the previous turns. And now this term, I'm being, like, basically hyper-aggressive... Clicking trick room instead of like protecting Actually, no, or swapping out. Not the right play here. Okay, he didn't do that. You got 18 <clears throat> seconds. Damn, this is actually tough. How do I get out of this? You switch, switch out. You have 10 <clears throat> seconds. Let's go for the trick room. Um. Oh my goodness, what was I doing? They went for a helping hand. And I didn't know they had a helping hand. Out. That definitely knocks us out. This protect means nothing, because they're going to get a plus one. Helping hand is good to know. Let's see if they're life orbs, too. I threw the hell out of this first game. I know I lost this first game. I threw the hell out of this game. Oh, I knew I should have went with a silk vest. Helping hand does knock us out. Um, let's see what they have. Yeah, here. it doesn't matter at this point, because I can't protect again. Man, that was a pretty stupid play by the boy, by your boy oh, over here. <laughs> so, I have to, I have to replay so now game. I'm behind the eight ball because I know I'm pretty um, gonna, I'm not gonna lose this game. I can actually fast forward a bit. Um, they just helping hand again, yeah. Gonna come out right here. Yeah, helping hand. Now, do I go to? I try to go for a double protect. Ah, but we failed. Double protect actually might have given me a shot. Double protect would have given me a shot. Because Scrafty probably survives. Scrafty survives. So if we get the double protect there, it, it becomes more interesting. Let's see how much Snarl does. Because that kind of makes it... That depends. Oh, Snarl doesn't do enough. It'll have to crit. Yeah, because it just puts them back at neutral. So it actually doesn't even make a difference. So we lost that first one. I think I'll lead the Feeny this time. Because, like, what is that? So what do we go with in the second game? So I also brought Umbreon because Umbreon is a good answer to Calyrex as well. So I wonder if I brought it in the second game. I feel like I should have. Because once... Also, I... What, if I, what if I just lead my guy? Yeah. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure on, yeah. I don't see the problem there. You could lead Umbreon too. You also could lead the Garchomp here. Like, there's so many options. Then I'll bring Scrafty in the back. And then Oranguru, or do I just bring no. Umbreon? Umbreon. Oranguru does nothing for you in the back. Yeah, because Feeny will deal with it just fine. Let's go with this. Let's actually put some pressure on right away. Yeah. I think that. Yeah, let's, let's get. The best option. Let's get aggressive. I don't know what the heck we was thinking with all that nonsense we was pulling before. But, um... Because I know they... I, I live a critical hit foul play from them. I've done that before. Yes, we do. But, yeah, once, um... Oh, and Didi and Stack. I like that. So, once it once we saw that the Oranguru dies to, um... To lunge, even after minus one, that thing is no longer welcome. <laughs> that thing is no longer welcome. I think I like that. So I can just go for what I should have went for, right? I can go for a Glacial Lance and a Scald. I could also call. No, because they're just going to follow me. So they're not going to be worried about like high horsepower or anything here. 
So I don't, I, I can't go for Scald Trick Room. Plus, I don't know if if Scald so um, at neutral um, actually would have um, KO'd. But I could take the um. I have close combat on this thing too because oh yeah because high horse power misses I, and I I I, 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 I didn't want to use moves right that could miss because I missed so many moves when I played this player last time <laughs> in the regular season. I don't know what you're thinking about this so hard for. You could just click glacial lance. Like, what's stopping me from just like protecting and combining? combining? That works too. That's a, it's a it's a safe middle ground play. I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. And they probably go for their what's it called the steel type move. Maybe he don't jar ball. If they go with Trickle, that's fine by me because they still will not be able to take out my Pokemon here. Iron Head. I don't think Iron Head's enough. So, yeah, I could swap in the Scrafty here. Um, make sure where they can't do anything. I kind of want them to Trick Room because their mods in the back, which are probably Feramosa and Calyrex Shadow. Uh, the two of them are probably fat are in the back, and they're faster than everything I have, right? So they go for Trickle, and I get rid of this stack. They're in a really bad spot. Get another combine up. Another combine, sure even though it feels greedy, touch me. they actually it actually not right because what are they? Their their Pokemon are so passive against what I have. Like, what does it do to stop me from getting up another combine? Like, what does it do to stop me from doing that? They iron head me. It probably won't do that much damage after the Intimidate. They try to rock slide me. It won't do much damage after the Intimidate. And now I'm probably going to switch this Crafty back in and get another Intimidate. And I could probably combine again if I really wanted to. Let's see if we start. Let's see if we start feeling ourselves and puffing our chest out and getting these boosts. Because if I get the plus three, this game is over. There's nothing they can do at any point anymore. The game is completely over if I get the plus three. So now they have to consider the fact that... um, I could just get aggressive here. I try to protect now. Uh, close combat will do damage to both, but... Glacial Lance is fine. I'm just going to Glacial Lance. I'm going to Scald here and see what they do. So I'll take the policy activation. Yeah, I'll take the policy. They're minus one now. Scald will still do a ton of damage to their Ndidi. Yep. Because I'm plus two. They are Psychic Seed, I believe. So they actually take it pretty well because they have the special defense boost. Especially not that much damage, but it'll knock their Ndidi out now. Glacial Lance probably does KO their Ndidi here, unless they're really bulky. Okay, so we got a plus one. So, I mean, there's a plus one, and it's like, they're going to activate my policy here, most likely. <clears throat> Except the policy doesn't mean anything because depending on what they bring into the game now, Oh, they avoided Ooh, see, the policy. That's, that's interesting because I'm just going to recover that damage right off. Yes, I am. And they're probably thinking that they can, like, they can get me with their... Um, their Ndidi was very, very crucial to them playing this game oh, because they, coming out nice. they needed that helping hand boost. Now, I wonder if I play with fire and, and, and decide and try to think whether or not I can survive um, with Cadirex with no helping hand boost. Yeah, I can. I have Umbreon and Scrafty in the back. There's nothing counter. Life orb. They were not. So, uh, do I play with the fire here? It's safe to swap here. It's very safe. But I'm going to go for it. Yes, I am. I just don't believe <laughs> that they can knock me out from full health. I don't believe it either. Okay, this is fine. And and they went for this. This is fine. And, like, that's I'll good damage that. and all, but, like, a good tech. we'll take this win. But, um, that's a win. That's a winning I'm play for us. Run through everybody. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna destroy. Game two pretty clear. So yeah, we 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 roll game, game two now. Um, this is such a turnaround from game one, and it's like, I don't know what my opponent's state of mind is at this point because I think you get a hard fart game one win, you're basically one win away from the championship, right? Focus sass. And now I basically get re mm, like I, you stuff. you reveal your tech, right? Focus sass was like supposed to be like your your tech that's supposed to like catch me off guard, and win you the match. Are there minus um, two special? And it's not necessarily over per se, but so 
So like, if I just protect here, and then dazzling green. So I don't know why I did this. Play? It's not safe because they can poison jab me. The Calyrex is minus two now, though. So like, realistically, the safe play is to attack with both mons, right? Because Calyrex can't knock out either one of us. And Feromosa can only knock out one of us. So if I just cal hit Glacial Lance and Dazzling Gleam right here, get in my, um, um, I can pick up two KOs called? either way. So I probably should have done that. that thing my, uh, because now if they just double up into the Feeny, then I lose the Feeny. Or if they Poison Jab, I probably lose the Feeny, um, which which gives them a bit of a chance to, to play. And they Poison Jab into this spot. Poison Jab, Lunge. So they don't have... So they don't have foul play anymore? And like while I think I had a better play, my play did work out, right? So I, I rolled through game through. So like I was saying, now at this point, it's like what is my opponent's psyche? Because we had two games. Game one was really close, even though I kind of made some mistakes. Game two wasn't really close at all. So you were one game away from winning the championship, and then like in game two, I kind of rolled. It's like, oh crap, what just happened here, right? So now you have to go into sudden death and you are going into sudden death after your opponent just kind of steamrolled the game. Um, so you have to sit here and start thinking about what am I going to do? So let's fast forward. These same mods again, right? So do I leave the same stuff? I feel like they're going to... Are they going to bring me, though, Queen? What if they lead way more aggressive this time? They could lead way more aggressive. You have to be prepared for that. It might be helpful to lead something like Umbreon and then have the Scrappy behind it so you can intimidate that Feromosa if they lead it and try to close combat the Umbreon. I don't know if I would lead the Scrafty. I'm going to go with Scrafty Silverway. And then I'm going to have Feeny in the back, I guess. You know what? This is not bad. Um, Because the reason that this is not bad is because with these Scrafty intimidating them, right? Um, <clears throat> Yo, this is actually the good lead, and I'll tell you why. If the Scrafty intimidates the Feromosa, the Feromosa can't knock out Calyrex, regardless, even with like super effective lunges or whatever they have. And then Umbreon's probably safe. so I get a policy activation, I just feel like he and can't lead I get the same kind of lead I get a, a glacial lance off, and I pick up two time. KOs. Probably, um, I mean, if they lead Calyrex, the I protect with the Cali with my Calyrex. I snarl, I, and like then I just roll Calyrex. with Calyrex Ice. So I think this lead actually does make the most sense. And it took me three games to identify it. Indeed, Calyrex. So I, I knew he'd lead with something way more aggressive. Than yeah, that. so this actually worked out perfectly for us. Because they, they can help in hand all they want, but it doesn't matter. Because I just protect and snarl. And even if they were to protect, I still next turn would just swap out the Calyrex know. into like Probably Umbreon. Doesn't matter. Um, does he even bring the, uh, what's it called here? Psychic C to increase their special defense. Yeah. Intimidate doesn't matter. But he can't... I mean, he could have Draining Kiss. Yeah, that doesn't matter. He ain't got Draining Kiss. He definitely ain't got Draining Kiss. Nobody wants Draining Kiss except me. <laughs> Nobody wants Draining Kiss on the um, Calyrex Shadows except me. I, I, I ran Chat Draining Kiss Shadyrex Cattle when Urshifu Dark became popular a long time ago. He, he could have... No, he has Leaf Storm... Uh, probably protect uh, Astro Barrage. I doubt he, he's got to have a psychic type move. Um, if he has Draining Kiss, more power to him. More power to him. So the issue what I realized with this play is that I'm going to get kiss, more power to him. Is I'm going to get the um. I, he what's going to happen is he is going to Astro okay, Barrage, perfect. and I'm going to get right, switched out. Because now we get the Snarl off. We don't get the snarl off. You you forgot you forgot your your Pokemon that quickly. Damage. Probably the one time I wish that I didn't have um the jack button. What's it called? So you didn't forget. So now you're bringing the Embryon for sure. Because you can still snarl. In here actually. So I can still do what I was talking about Probably previously, to, right? Um, I can switch Cali Calyrex for Scrafty, snarl. And I could just start, if I really wanted to, I could just snarl, 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 snarl. I'm going to snarl instead of foul playing. Yeah, because they can follow me. 
I gotta I gotta play this the right way. So I'm gonna swap this here. So having two really strong Cataract Shadow answers is gonna go such a long way, and then bringing them both right, um, because I could have left one at home. Bringing them both gives me two mods that can switch into Astro Barrage very safely, which is absolutely wonderful. Umbreon played a key role in this team throughout this entire um, entire run. Okay, so they don't switch. They probably go for follow me here, which is even better, right? Because that means they're not helping Candy, so they don't get a lot of damage off. Yeah. So I'm just going to, like, snarl, 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 snarl. <laughs> snarl, 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 see? Maybe they I, know what I'm, I know what I'm doing a little bit. <clears throat> I don't mind this at all because I should get off my... Um... Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, it's just not strong enough. So as long as the snarl hits the Ndidi, I'm good. So I probably start to snarl with both mons, but realistically, what I probably should have they done. Might actually go for like dazzling gleam again. So this might be the yeah. This might play. be the time to foul play because they're probably gonna dazzling gleam some more. So I'm why bring this in? Because I want to preserve intimidate. Yeah, exactly. This is this is exactly what you should have done. And even if they swap look at me, like look at me making have the sash or foul look play. at me making these plays. Decent amount of damage to it, and then because I have my scrafty at the back. And this works because it, no matter who this is, they take foul play damage. Attack attacker will take damage from this too. This is fine. This is wonderful. Because now I get the top of Fenian safely and for free. That is not going to do anything to it. So now I'm in like a wonderful position. Right? Yes, you is. Yes, you is. Like I'm in a wonderful position. Now my top of Fenian can start getting those, those boosts again. Yes, it can because they can't hurt you. That is going to do nothing to us. Even less. This is a very Umbreon specially so bulky Umbreon. Good. Hopefully this does a decent chunk. That's good that's damage. Bad. That's good damage. Realistically, they probably can't survive a Skull from that range, even without a uh, without a combine boost. I could Moonlight here, get my health back, because they can't really do nothing to us. Um, I'm just going to Moonlight to get some health back. <laughs> and then combine. <laughs> oh, talk about knowing, simple, simple, knowing simple your moves. Right there. You know, you you. This is like the uh, the key to consistency, right? When you can predict yourself helping that way. Helping hand. Um, I wonder what they're helping handing. What kind of move? Like I said, I don't watch these prior. I just watch them and then go over them with you guys. I haven't watched this since this happened. Like I said, unreleased footage. First time you guys are seeing it. First time anyone's seeing it. Maybe they have body press. They have body press. I can live with that because then I'm just gonna get my calyrex in anyway. Yep. Don't care about body press. I have Chapel. That's why I don't care about body press. Let's see how much it does. That's good damage. That would have knocked us out properly. Still a lot of damage. I think. Without yeah, Chapel, it probably knocks us out. So, um, because I'm faster than their stack... It's like, from here, I could potentially... Moonlight's not gonna gaining some ground. What do I do want to do here? I could just swap, get the intimidate in, and then preserve the embryon for the late game against Calyrex, and then get another boost. I can foul play that thing. Yeah. Like I'll scald here just to see if they um. Let's see if they go for it, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's fine. Sometimes you want to test them, right? Because sometimes they don't click follow me. Because follow me is predictable. And it's like, if I can start getting this... Yeah, because I'm only plus one this time. So the body pressure into the Umbreon, which is like no big deal. It's really not a big deal. What's that boost again? It's not a big deal. So I bring in the Ice Boy, right? Bring in the Ice Boy. I could have played this game through a lot better. Um, I could have just made the switch just now. Um, got one last Intimidate in. And then when I got the Intimidate in, um, then bring out the, the Calyrex. But at this range, I'll probably just knock out the Ndidi anyway.
protect, scald the Indeedee, and then maybe scald it again? Or do I protect and go for the uh, combine? Why Dazzling Gleam? Yeah. Scald. Um, where am I with my boost? I'm only at one boost each, right? So actually what I'm going to do here... Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn yeah, up, turn up. Another boost. Yeah, why Why not? What's stopping you? Tell me what's stopping you from getting another boost. And it's crazy because, like, Calyrex was so dominating throughout this entire run. Um, But in, Both players are playing it pretty safe. in this match, as you can see, it doesn't really get, like, that, that much damage off. Um... But because it's such a threat, they have to basically go after it every time. They can't just let it sit there and do what it wants to do, right? So you protect into nothing. Body press is interesting. Like man. you, you can't, you can't just let it sit there. They probably were expecting it. Uh, a, what's it called? What's the word? Uh, a switch it to Scrafty. <clears throat> but like you have to worry about those things, right? Just the presence of those mons on the field. Um, kind of controls what the um, opponent wants to do. So now, no. Why would you glacial lance here? I want a glacier lance here because I can win the game off calm mind boost. Yeah, can you? Well, yeah, because that can't actually take me out, so it doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, that can't take me out. So I get another calm mind. So I think if they were to ever play me like again with these exact same teams, like if we had went. Back to the drawing board and then played again a week later. I think he would have tried to come up with a way to um to deal with Tapu Fidi a little bit better. But I can't even say that because when we um played the first time, what what won me the match was Tapu Fini getting calm mind boost and then just blowing stuff up with like muddy water, moon so blast, etc. Absolutely has to take me out right now, right? It has but it doesn't. There's no way it one shots me. It's not even a two hit KO. Yeah, no way. Even at a plus one, it doesn't it doesn't matter because it's a neutral hit, and my defenses are still really high. I'm max HP and everything. <clears throat> so now they bring out probably the um, Feramosa. So depending on what they bring out, if they bring out their um, I'm gonna target down their Calyrex. No, they're gonna bring their Feramosa. Yeah, I'm going to target down there, Calyrex, if they bring that out right now. They're not going to bring that out right now. They're probably trying to save that for the end game because it has the Focus Sash. Leafeon. Oh, Leafeon. That's, nice. that's an auto win. Because there's no way that thing is faster than me. So... I could, because they probably want to leaf blade into the Feeny, but they probably know that I'm going to protect the Feeny or switch it. So I could actually play into that and just leave Feeny on the field. Because I've been playing very defensive the first, all three of these games where like I've been avoiding their super effective hits. Um. So Glaceon just dies to this anyway. Plus, I think I have what, Scrafty in the back? Okay, this is even better. Yeah, so I have Scrafty in the back. So... X Scissor. I will take that. Yeah, I get a policy boost. They went... They, they overread. They tried to read into a... a, a Feeny protect. protect. Or either a protect or a swap on my... Um... That does so much damage. So yeah, I, I never have to really worry about it here because let's say for example, um, for a protect or a swap on my Feeny. Let's say what happens here is like, overread. is the Leafeon just dies? I get a plus one. Um. So their Calyrex is. Next, I bring out right? the what Scrafty and I can snarl their Calyrex. Storm. I do have Leaf Storm, but Leaf Storm doesn't essentially doesn't matter. So that's not my dog, but barking in real time. Um, that's my dog barking in the video in the past, if you, if you guys could even hear it. So now, because like I said, Calyrex is so dangerous, this game is not over. Um, so now I could protect, right, if I really wanted to. I just don't think that, um, Leaf Storm is protect. enough. I don't want to give him my boost. It's not, it's not enough. So I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna not enough. Down into this thing and start getting damage off. It's actually not enough. 
Now that I think about it, because I'm, I'm, I'm boosted they're by like plus recall. two. They're probably playing for a crit. They're going for actual barrage. Oh, they're not even playing for the crits. Because like even regular actual barrage isn't going to knock out my Feeny. They figured here, right? What they could do is if they blow yeah, up my Calyrex. 30, 36 damage with all my boost. If they blow up my Calyrex, right? Uh, they get yeah, a plus yeah, one. Yeah, oh, burn. Burn doesn't matter on Calyrex though, right? Then they can Iron Head, get a little bit of damage off. Um, and then what happens is they're plus one with Calyrex. And then next turn, I just have like Scrafty um, and a low top of Feeny versus a plus one Calyrex. Then they so can Leaf Storm. Safe, they can um, Leaf Storm my Feeny and then body press my my Scrafty. So that actually, I actually made the, the right play. Um, they they went for it. I think they that's what happened here. And you have to kind of go for it when you're Is in this position. To actually switch and not allow them to get off. Of, um... I don't believe it is. It just it, it, you literally don't have to do this. Yeah, this is actually safe. I was dazzling gleam here, just so they don't get a plus one, right? Um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter if they get a plus one. Their Pokemon is going down this even, turn. They try to protect here. So, which I doubt that thing even has, but like, granted, in this position it was impossible to lose from. Hold on, let me pause and say why it's impossible to lose from. Oh, leaf stormers. So, reason it's impossible to lose from that position, right? Because let's say they, um, I leave my Calyrex in, right? I leave my Calyrex in. They leaf storm. Let's say Feeny goes down here, whatever. I Astro Barrage here, um, which is already at plus one. I knock out their Calyrex. I get the stack down to a lot of HP, and then it's stack versus my um, Scrafty. I close combat, I win. Um, if I swap in here, they say they Leaf Storm. Um, they Leaf Storm or whatever here. They hit this. I could probably protect and then like snarl. No, I could actually lose from that position, couldn't I? Could I lose from that position? No, because I don't think they have protect on their Calyrex, actually. So, yeah, I Snarl it, um, lower its attack. Actually, I probably could have lost from that position now that I think about it. Disregard. Fine. I don't think that's going to do enough. Yeah, it's not enough. So that's what that's makes it impossible to lose from this position. It's because non-stab grass move into, um, like, plus two or plus three special defense Feeny is never going to knock me out. And then I have close combat on that's the part I was forgetting, is that it can never knock me out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe... Yo... Okay. Have a berry. And it's uh, starting to it's starting um, to settle in. It's starting to settle in. And not even enough to tackle out this <clears throat> We just won the championship, y'all. Yes, we did. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever won like a any kind of VGC style tournament or league or anything. Yeah, yeah, just um, just, just blow it up. Blow that stack up. Out. Yeah, fake out is cool. Skulls. Yo, we just won the chip, son. That's Some of you have probably seen this before. I know most people be like all over the place, but like I'm actually very surprised. I was surprised. When I got invited to this league. Yeah, I just um, got invited to yeah, play. Like, hey, you want to play? And I was like, you know, I'm sure it could do good content. Yeah, it hasn't yet content. It content. Like it did okay, but it didn't do as good as like the other stuff was doing. So I kind of yeah. put it on the back burner and just played it more for fun. And it, it, it essentially made the league a bit more fun that way. It was really um, fun. But like, damn, yo, we just won the title. We just won the friggin' this might, chip. This might become some kind of video. Um, I might put the battles up on the Patreon. Might just upload them. Might I've never done anything with that Patreon, so ignore Thank him. Or if you want to check out the Patreon and, uh, and you know, and feel free to donate. Supporting. It's up to you. Thank you to the league for inviting me. Thank you for all the players for giving me. Thank all of y'all for having me. The um, matchups I that I've the had. Title. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. It depends on like what my schedule is. But I didn't play the the, the following draft league they had. It's just so time consuming. Everybody in there. Thank you it's so, so time consuming. Main event out. So yeah, that was my uh my uh, draft league championship match where I won this little belt, which is like one of my prize Pokemon possessions. First real like success as far as winning an entire thing of anything. I played in some tournaments or like some laddering tournaments and have come and made and had like wins, right? I've won matches, but I haven't actually like took home the trophy or anything just because I don't know if it's lack of lack of caring to like play a full tournament out. Um, also, some of them just not good enough. Like when I played in the Players Cup, I qualified and all that stuff. It just wasn't good enough to win. <laughs> but I won this and it was on a, it was a really good time for me. Um, so I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys. Don't forget question today. Have you had any kind of 
competitive success and gather whatever that means to you whatever competitive success means to you please share it down below um otherwise thank you guys for uh going down this uh this this uh this other memory for me and hopefully i can do some more of these videos because they're really fun thank you guys uh see you guys in the next one peace